This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Educate WordPress. On this channel, we talk everything about WordPress. And today, we are going to see how we can create custom fields for our custom post types in our WordPress website. In the previous video, we learned how to add custom post types, which if you didn't know, is a way to add separate space for different type of content. I will link that video in the description in case you want to check it out which you should obviously. By the way, if you enjoy this video and see more type of content like this, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. So moving on to this video, we have a different website from the last time, but this is to showcase one of the use cases for adding custom fields. As you can see, this is a real estate website and I've got all these type of penthouses that I want to showcase. But I want them to be separate from posts. In that case, I'm going to add a custom post type and then we're going to add custom fields for like this is the heading, the price, this can be the excerpt, this is the type, and let's say this is another label that we're going to add. So let's start adding custom post type. I'm going to fast forward this part because I've already explained that in the last video. So, and by the way, I'm using Astra theme. If you want to check it out, I've already reviewed this theme. I will link that video in the description. So as you can see, we have created a custom post type and a taxonomy called categories. Let's go to plugins, add new and start installing advanced custom fields. Search for advanced custom fields. And this is the plugin by delicious brains and it has 2 million plus active installations let's click on install now I will also link the plugins website in the description so you can check it out from there just in case so let's activate this and as you can see we have a section called custom fields Let's go there. Let's click on add new. The title will be same as my post type. Let's click on add field. The field label will be 
this is the information that I want to show first of all this is the let's call it home name the field type will be text but you can also set text area which is a larger text box a number a range of number email URL password or a content type such as image or file and choice such as select box radio button checkbox and other type of things that you can add I'm going to select text I'm not going to add any instruction required is yes nothing will be default value and let's click on add field let's add another field this will be the pricing and this will be of type number this will be required and let's add a prepend which is the text or anything that appears before your input so this will be dollar or any currency of your preference if you want to add a minimum or maximum value for a number you can do that you can also add conditional logic and let's click on add field for me the third field will be this information so let's call it excerpt this will be of type text and this will also be required let's click on add field again and I'm going to add another field let's say this will be house info and this will be of type text area because I want to showcase a large amount of information for the house just like in posts or blog posts this will also be required so if you want to add a default value or placeholder text or character limit you can do that there's also where you can add number of rows or controls how new lines are re rendered You can also add wrapper attributes. Let's click on add field. So the location will be home. click on update and there are my custom fields let's go to home let's click on add new and as you can see we have home name pricing excerpt and house info so the so these are the advanced custom fields that we can add let's click on add title and let's add the first one which is called modern apartment the home name will be also modern apartment
let's add pricing so the pricing is dollar fifteen hundred and let's copy the excerpt and let's add some dummy text here so we've inserted dummy text let's click on publish so as you can see we've only added title right here and we have yet to add these advanced custom fields in the next video we're going to create a web page in which we're going to add these advanced custom fields using the dynamic content feature of elementor pro now that's it for this video thank you for watching like if you find this video useful and subscribe thank you